Well, Greengate Garden Center has great solutions to life's toughest problems, how to keep mosquitoes away, and how to add fresh flavors to your meals, and also how to keep your fruit trees thriving all year long. Josh was here to share a little bit of the love of trees on National Love a Tree Day, and I do love my trees. You've got a lot to choose from out there. We do. We have a whole lot right now. All right. Well, we're going to start with the ones that you brought over here on this side, and this I love this big leaf here at the bottom. What is this one? Yeah, that's a cacao. That's actually where uh, your chocolate's made from. So this so is my tree right here. You can do that. And so you don't actually have to make Good chocolate. Tree. You can actually eat the fruit raw as well, and it's a really? lot healthier that way. Okay. Um, Does it... I guess it, it just tastes like cocoa powder? Or? It's supposed to taste like a bitter chocolate and a little bit of a fruit flavor as well. Um, so that one would be one you could keep in a pot. So it is tropical, so if, when it freezes back, you can take it into your garage, keep it someplace warm, bring it out next, uh, you know, after it passes and put okay. it back out in the part shade location. All right, so it doesn't even need full sun. No, that one would be best in part shade, part sun, okay. the eastern side of your house, something like that. All right, what's this one? And that is a mango. So that's a dwarf mango. It's only going to get, you can keep it around six, eight feet. Um, and it's going to keep it in a pot. Um, Bring it in out. You can see there's actually at the very top there. I don't know if you can see the little baby mango just starting up there. You see a little green. Some little little buds up there just starting. Yeah. Okay. How long before you can actually get a mango you can eat off of a tree? Like uh, this? I would expect in you know two, three, four years, just okay. depending on how quickly you bump it up in pots and how well it does. All um, right. And behind it, um, what do we have here? Star fruit. It's a common name for it. And that one's actually a neat one. Mine last year actually got two crops of it. Mm -hmm. on that size of tree so it actually is a really uh, heavy bearer okay and it's really neat and then down here on the side we've got another one what's this and one? that's cinnamon that's actually where you get your really? uh, cinnamon sticks and cinnamon spices from and actually if you wanted to you can even crush one of those leaves and you can actually crush the leaves up and it's going to smell like cinnamon i'm going to do that right here and when you get cinnamon it actually is the bark of the tree is that yeah, right it's the bark of the tree they remove the outside layer wow. of it and then split the inner layers and okay. curl it up and let it dry for processing that's really neat on this side you've got another tree Tree. This one right here is actually called a miracle fruit tree. Yeah, it's called a miracle fruit. That one's <laughs> really neat. Um, so the f the little berry has a protein that coats your tongue, and it actually makes uh, sour and bitter foods, or almost all foods, taste sweeter. Uh, so in tropical areas, sometimes they'll use it as diet aids and things. You know, instead of adding a bunch of sugar or something to your coffee. You can coat your tongue with one of those berries, and it's going to make everything taste a whole lot sweeter. That's really interesting. Okay, and um, next to it, we or in front of it, we've got some other. Or is this another tree that you have? Yes, yeah, this, no, this is a Barbados cherry. Okay, uh, it's also the Acerola. You might have heard of it. Um, it's really high in vitamin C. It tastes kind of like a really tart cherry. It's, okay, it's sweet, but it's on the tart side. All right. Do any of these need um, another tree to be able to bear fruit, or are no, they all? They okay should. On their all own? these that we've had here are going to be self fertile. Okay. All right, in front of that, you've got some herbs here that can actually help us keep the mosquitoes out of the yard. Is that right? Yeah, exactly. So um, the rosemary is actually one of the best since you're about to cut yours down. We're not telling anybody. I've got to trim <laughs> um, mine back a little but, bit. Yeah, and then with that, there are actually different sizes. So if it is getting overgrown, there's there's a plant for your space. You just have to pick the right variety if you want it. I need to do that. Uh, we have this trailing variety. It stays real low, uh, and a more upright one on this side. And another neat thing you can do is if you're entertaining, it's out by the patio, go out with a stiff broom and just brush it real quick. I don't know if you can smell oh, that. Oh, I love the smell of rosemary. That's know, why I planted it And it just it releases in that into the air, Great and that'll smell. help keep the mosquitoes away when that oil's released. Or you can rub it on your skin. And the lavender as and well? And the lavender as well. You'd want to rub that on your skin, and um, it can help keep mosquitoes away. All right, and both of those you can cook with as well, so they serve multi-purpose in your That's home. That's it. All right, thanks for coming in today. A lot of great choices at Greengate Garden Center. We encourage you to get out this weekend and get something for your garden. Well, if you